A very good morning once again and thank you for staying tuned to Sunrise at Sea here on CTV. Welcome to our views, the, the segment where we have the most candid conversations. And today we are talking about appearance vis-a-vis -vis personality. Well, you have heard over and over again that beauty attracts the eye, whereas personality captures the heart. And maybe you may beg uh, to differ because different people uh, prefer different things. Some people say, you know what, for me, it's the beauty. If you are not beautiful, if you're not handsome, you cannot be my person. Whereas others stick to the fact that personality is everything. If you are a beautiful person with a bad personality, then it doesn't work for them. But before we get into it, um, I'd like to give you a little bit of context on what beauty and personality is. Now, appearance is um, the way that someone or something looks, that we are talking about beauty, we are talking about a tall man, we are talking about a beautiful woman, a handsome man, you know, that is how appearance is. And personality refers to the characteristic sets of behaviors, cognitions, and emotional patterns that evolve from biological and environmental factors. Well, joining me on set today is Siobhan Alma and Brian, and we shall be talking deeply about this conversation that has been going on and on about what would you rather, beauty or you can call it appearance or personality. Good morning, Good Brian morning. and Siobhan. Good morning. Welcome to our views <laughs> this morning. You. First of all, I have a question. Uh -huh. Who gets to say this one is beautiful and this one is ugly? Your eyes. It's how you look at somebody. The beholder. No, exactly. <laughs> the beholder. No, but you see, the beholder might be me. You know, you might look at yourself and you think you're beautiful, but other people see you. Ah, but it's a good thing to actually think that you're beautiful that, before someone else can validate that you. That is okay. You My first yourself. aspect, and I have an issue with, 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 with this particular conversation, is who gets to say that you're beautiful and you're not. But, Secondly, mm -hmm. Are you going to be moving around <laughs> telling everyone that, hello, I have a good personality. I have a good personality. You guys, that is the ideal. The ideal should be that you have a good personality and maybe beauty. If God, you know, was happy with you on that day when he created you, he gives you a bonus of being beautiful. And okay, very before we get into but this in conversation, case, I have a video that I would like us to watch that gives us context on this topic. Watch it. Let me tell you that one more time so you could understand what I'm trying to say. Personality overlooks, but looks matter. This whole narrative of, oh, I don't really care how someone looks, is all about their personality. You're a liar. Listen, everyone's born beautiful. Let's not get it twisted, but there's something called sexual attraction. If you look at someone, you're like, wow, that's a bit of me. Even forget that. You're telling me if there's a big crowd, there's a big crowd of people telling me you're going to look inside of that crowd and you're going to be like, I pick you because you look like you have a good personality. Don't be a silly billy. And I might have even said that everyone's born beautiful, but some of you, your personality stinks. <laughs> it stinks. You could look like a 10 out of 10, but if your personality is rubbish, you're ugly. Babes, you're ugly. Some of you think that you look like 10, 10 models, but your personality is like a swamp. You look like an ogre. You should be chilling with Shrek. Anyway, there's someone for everybody. Personality overlooks, but looks matter. Just have that in mind. Okay, well, I love this video for one particular reason, that it actually gives us two sides. So I'm asking the question today. What matters most? Is it someone's appearance or personality to you? Both matter. Both matter. You're not going to go around telling people I have a good personality. The first thing, the truth of the matter is, like I said, it is the ideal. When Brian walks into this room, the first thing I'll notice is his brown. He's tall, he's well built, I like his beard. That's before I even get to understand whether he has a good personality. Now, now that I have appreciated his outer appearance and I'll be like, hmm, this is a nice man. This is definitely someone I would like to date. When I interact with him and then I get to realize he has a terrible personality, I'll be like, what? So your beauty covered up for your terrible personality, you see. But the first thing that you see is how a person looks. Regardless, it is the ideal that, oh, you should have a good personality and also be beautiful. But okay, for those that are not beautiful, the first thing, unfortunately, that people see is who you are. And beauty is not even, may not be just how you look, how you have presented yourself, how you have dressed up, how do you carry yourself as a lady? Do you move while throwing your legs the other side? Or do you move in a straight line? And you know, you, how do you carry yourself? Do you carry yourself as a queen? Or do you carry yourself as someone who wants to be used? So for me, at the end of the day, both do count. However, first things first, when you walk up to me, the first thing I'll see is how you look, how you have presented yourself. Then I will judge you. So even if you have a very bad personality, mm -hmm. and I've liked what I have seen, I yeah. may be inclined to change my mind. However, <coughs> again, when you're beautiful, 
according to them. I do not know who judges who is beautiful, but when you're beautiful and you have a bogus personality, mm. also it is good, it is as well saying that you are not a beautiful person either because there is no way that you can have a terrible personality, <coughs> you don't know how to relate to people, you're ill-mannered, you're ill-cultured, you're like a swamp, like what that guy has said. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you, Brian? <laughs> so, Siobhan, were those compliments or you were giving uh, an By example? the way, they are compliments. Yeah, uh, thank you. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, see, when you go to a shop to buy, let's say, a laptop, you first look at the laptop with a very good hardware that looks so good. You know, the Chinese have that manufacture those low copy products have mastered that craft. Eh? They model a very good looking car or like or laptop, make it look so good, mm -hmm. but the inside is so not the quality as it appears. The looks do matter to a large to a large extent because when you our eyes judge first before our minds and hearts start to pick up on character and someone's personality. There's a research in the US that found out that people that look good earn 20% more mm. than their counterparts. And in terms of what? In terms of salary? or Salary. Okay. Yeah. And even business-wise, the salesmen and women that look good make more sales mm. than the counterparts that don't fare well in terms of looks. But... <clears throat> If you're counting on looks as your pillar, it is unsustainable. You're going to grow old, the looks are going to fade, and you will not have anything. Mm. What will you do? You gotta have to you have to have that personality within that, that can sustain you. Yeah, that bucks your character your your looks. Because if you find a woman that or a husband, a man that looks good and has a good personality. Yes. You cannot thank God for anything better than that. You can be proud, but you get a guy, he looks good, you get, you get struck, oh my God, he's going to give you good looking babies, ah. but then... <laughs> that is actually very so, important. But, but Brian, it really is very important. Let's stick to that conversation. Are you trying to insinuate that beautiful babies only come because of the man? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Of course, the woman contributes as well. We but. contribute the most. We carry the child. But anyway, let's stick, let's stick to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but, is, okay, you'll be able to make better looking babies with yes. a good looking guy. But if, he's not, if he has a rotten personality, will it be sustainable? Will you like be in a marriage with him all through because he looks good. Mm -hmm. Many, many devils are packaged in good looks. You find a very good looking woman or guy, she's so narcissistic. She has all the personality disorders you can find. <laughs> borderline <laughs> borderline <laughs> personality, histrionic, but, but that, that avoidant. Cuts Yep. That cuts across. Even because men as well. No, there's those Even who men are well. not so good looking, but mm. they have those bad personalities no, as well so it really it, it's not about the the good looking person is the mm. one who has this all these bad personalities it's all even that they're not so good looking in this people. case we're so talking about it, good looks but yeah. it is common with good looking women and men they are the horizons yeah. of terrible because personalities, you know right? they grow up they're raised you find a beautiful kid like very beautiful oh my god this kid is so beautiful and she grows up or he grows up getting those compliments so he starts to think it is a superior thing to have good looks, to be good looking. If you're good looking, you're going to have all the attention and all the things you want. But as they grow up, they realize that <clears throat> you have to work for those things. And they just, they didn't know, they didn't prepare themselves. They didn't get, they didn't give themselves time to perhaps master skill or get a qualification, some credentials to qualify them to do something. Mm. So they have that sense of entitlement. So one walks into the room and because of their good looks they think they deserve all the attention and some uh, vip treatment they deserve the job okay you might somehow get away with it for the start and you get that special treatment because okay people sometimes think that when someone looks good they have something behind them and perhaps uh, some skills or 
credentials and all, and they give you the chance. But will the looks play the football when you get on pitch, or will they calculate the audit the books when you're given an accounting job? Will they anchor the news when you don't know how to do it, or will they prevent, pre present the sunrise morning show? Mm. If you don't know how to do it, no. But you see, again, Brian, the issue, and you see, when, when you, for example, let's take a look at the world that we live in, world over, or maybe let's bring it back down to Uganda. Let's take a look at the fact, let's look at the advertisements, that the companies that do adverts, the people they use, the models they use. Mm. Those are the ones they are termed as beautiful. So the mm. truth of the matter is, regardless of the beautiful, <coughs> amazing personality, you're helping the needy, you know, you can carry a child for another <laughs> person. Yes, you have an amazing personality. Mm. But there are certain jobs, or there are certain things that they will never call you for, because most people are looking for looks. Yes. Let's take a look at, for example, advertising companies. I already mentioned that advertising mm. companies are people that they put, let's say, at the reception. In most cases, the first people you find when you enter an office are very good looking. Eh? Because first impression matters. And first impression doesn't come from you talking, no. When you enter, what do I see? Do you have the curves? If you're like <laughs> me who doesn't have, <laughs> better compensate with a good personality. Yes. But, but that is on. just as, that is... That is how harsh the world is. Sure. I have met people, sorry, I, be, I have met people in this world. I have come across people, very handsome men, mm. very good looking. Up to now, I still come across them. But my God, when you sit down and talk to them, even for three minutes, you can say, what kind of loss? Let me, mm -hmm. I, f I want to Where interject a little from? bit on what Shivan is saying. I feel like people are hypocrites because I, I've seen scenarios or maybe any of you have actually read about them or you have had them in your circles. Whereby a man says, um, I'm marrying this woman because they have inner beauty. Inner beauty, we are talking of personality, mm -hmm. right? They marry this woman put them in the home, you know, have the family and the kids, but they are always going on the other end mm -hmm. to find the beautiful woman. It's the beautiful woman that they're cheating with. It's the beautiful woman that they're taking to the, the, the most glamorous places because they are not so proud of the woman back at, at home. So isn't that hypocrisy that, you know, you say <laughs> beauty, like you, you, you want the personality back at home, but you also want beauty on this end. And the other thing is, personality sometimes can actually be worked on. Because people have grown up um, in situations where they're traumatized by experiences. People have P PTSD, is it? Uh, yeah, PTSD, and so many other mental illnesses that have resulted from how they have grown up, how they have been treated from back in the day, even at school. So all that impacts on their personality, all that... Um, shapes their personality and not because they're actually a bad person but because of the experiences that they have gone through so mm -hmm. if you meet this person and they are a beautiful person you sit down with them you like them because of their beauty and then you realize oh actually their personality is not all that good how about you sit down and talk to them and get to understand why they act like this, why they do what they do. And personality, I, th I know for sure that personality is something that can be worked on. I don't know about you. Do you think personality is something that can be worked on? Absolutely. Beauty yeah. cannot be, though, on the other hand. No, it can be. Beauty can. It's plastic. <laughs> the makeup. Can you take it can. out. Your beauty can definitely it can be. be as, it can be, be as good, though. It can be worked on. Beauty can me, be worked on. Do you think personality is Personality can be worked on. Because, first of all, yes, we are all born with a certain type of personality, but it is something that can be worked on over time, especially if you put yourself out there into the world, the people that you surround yourself with, the conversations that you keep having, they will definitely shape the kind of person that you are. So yes, personality can definitely be worked on. It's just that some people will come up with the idea of that is the way I am. You either take me as I am or you leave me. My friend, we shall leave you. Let me, let me give you just an like example. That. Yes. <laughs> Lupita Nyong'o, when she was in Kenya, she was still in Kenya, do you know how many insults she would get called ugly? Mm. But right now she's in Hollywood and... When you look at her on TV, man, she's one of the beautiful ladies you would call out. Absolutely. It can be worked on. Yes. yes. Beauty can be worked on as well. Only that some people have that wrong self-image of themselves. One perceives oneself as ugly, so they, they start to do things of ugly people. Self-neglect. <laughs> I don't like to say self-neglect. Uh, they don't care about the themselves you find the nose at the other side the hair is all 
disorganized, shabby, but uh, and they put on the weight, all that. But if you care about yourself, you might not, because you know when we, when you look at the models on TV or someone that is perceived as very beautiful or handsome, we tend to compare ourselves to them. But you are created in your own image. If you work on yourself and live within that image and don't neglect yourself, there's someone there that will find you so hot, so beautiful. Mm. So personality and beauty as well, appearances, can be worked on. Um, you talked about the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. Yes. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, there's that. It comes down to faithfulness. I, there are also those that met the beautiful ladies or the, be the handsome guy and dated them for some time and just were like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And then she goes for the one perceived as ugly and she's very happy with him. There are also those and she's faithful or he's faithful to that partner, that spouse. And then the other one that you talked about that goes, lives with this one and goes to yes. the other one. It's faithfulness because, anyway, on the on the other side of it, it's her that is at home as well. Mm -hmm. That is because they're the, the main home keepers. <laughs> they are the perceived home home keepers. She's still the main one, anyway. <laughs> it doesn't She's make the, the situation one. any different. When your man is shitting on you, it doesn't matter whether you are the woman at home. It means they do not value and respect you enough to be but just you. How about also seeing it in the perspective of this one? She be, He's cheating with being the one brought to a level of as low as sex or hanging out. How about that? Would you be? Would you want to be brought to that level? <laughs> but definitely not. <laughs> but still, still, I mean, driving back to the conversation, and I was actually reading an article, and I was trying to get it here. According to an article that was published in the Guardian in 2016, relationship coach said that actually most of the time, especially when it comes to both, let's let's first handle the women. When it comes to women, most beautiful women are said to have terrible personalities, and for some people, it True. makes up for what they do not have. While the vice versa is, most men that may not be appealing to the women actually have amazing personalities. Mm. Do you realize that? Because she says when you look at the stats, most women that are beautiful have terrible personalities. But most men, the ones that you say, that, oh, this cannot be my guy, he looks like this, they have the most amazing personalities. So at the end of the day, she calls and highlights that if you know that deep down, yeah, when they say that saying of take a center wall, <laughs> or when they say what take sells what? you, take a center wall. <laughs> if, your face, if your face doesn't sell you, compensate. Yeah? Mm. yeah with the if you're you with, with the personality. If you know that your face, when you walk into a place, people you know reject you, compensate with an amazing personality. Work on yourself. I mean, the best you can do is probably wear amazing clothes, look good, and then make sure you compensate with a beautiful personality. But again, the people. While we are looking at beauty and personalities, I would like to urge for people that are watching us this morning, and especially it goes to the women. Very many women believe that looks will get them to places. Yes, it might Absolutely. be true, but at the end of the day, a man will walk you down the aisle. And a company that is looking maybe to advertise will, you know, uh, take you on, sign a contract with you because of how you look. But in the long run, those looks won't matter. They will start asking, where is the work? Are you, are you mm, doing the work? True. Are you getting the work um, done? I, are you, when I bring guests home, do you embarrass me oh, as a goodness. man? So when, you know, this, the beauty might be what you attracted you to me, but in the long run, the man or the employer or whoever it is will realize you're actually... Mm. <laughs> you see, Shivan, I totally agree with you, but I don't like the fact that we are just during this conversation only to the women. No, but I what said... What about the men as well? That is why, why I gave both the, the men and the women, and then I gave the aspect of especially... But it is women who think that their looks can get them. It is the truth of the matter. I'm a woman. I know these things. We think that our looks will get us somewhere. And now for the men, the men think their looks get, us, get, get them women. Well, it is kind of true. But again, if I get to you, if I have a crush on you, then I realize you have a terrible personality, I'll walk out. True. So the question is, at the end of the day, what do you hold dear? Are you someone who wants looks? Are you someone who wants personality? Do you have a good personality? Well, that if it's bad, it can be worked on. If your looks are bad and you feel you're not comfortable in your skin, you can go for plastic surgery. <laughs>
and you balance the boat. Okay, <laughs> now let's look at the measures or the gauge that you use to measure how good someone is when it comes to their personality mm -hmm. and how beautiful someone is. You say that uh, beauty lies in the hands of a beholder. True. You know, you just look at somebody like, this person is beautiful in my eyes, whereas they may not look that appealing to someone else. Now let's mm -hmm. go back to personality. There are situations or scenarios where you could actually be a good person you are kind and you have all these good things about you that you actually know about yourself that maybe even other people have told you about you. But you will walk into a certain environment and people will perceive you differently. People will, will say you are rude, whereas someone else on the, other si on the other side says that you are kind. So what gauge do you use you know, to say that this is good personality, this is bad personality? I'm not talking about the, the surface of this person is rude, this mm. one. Uh, because even when you are good, sometimes you have those, um, those mishaps. I mean, a good person, you can be good, but you cannot be good all the time. Sometimes you will come off as rude, depending on the situation and, de and depending on what has triggered you to act in the moment. So what do you use to gauge that this is good personality that can be sustainable or not? I think it's a, a lock and key thing. If the key fits in and can lock it, Mm -hmm. It works because yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> because How does that my work? personality may mm -hmm. work for you and it doesn't work for Shivan. Mm -hmm. Her personality may work for me and never works for you. So, <clears throat> just like beauty, it lies in the hands of the beholder. Mm. It is open. If you can, if I appreciate your personality, well and good. You work for me. If I appreciate your beauty. Well and good. Have you, haven't you encountered people that from the word go you think are nice people and in the long run you find out they're actually not? Maybe they've been hiding behind, you know, their whole, maybe they've been putting on a show. Yeah, there, that there, there are very many of those. And that can happen <laughs> even when you, before, you can get married to somebody that you think was actually a really good person. And now that they are married, you're in it and they cannot get out of it. Then their, their personality comes. Mm. On their true personality, not the other one, the, the face. Yeah, there are many of those. I've met very many of those. It comes down to the personality itself. If you have a good personality, <clears throat> your house is built on solid ground. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have it, however much you put on a facade and show, mm. act like you're a nice person, you have a good personality, when the wind comes, your house is built on sand, it will be swept away. Mm -hmm. It's very clear. And a house, you know, when a house built on sand, however beautiful it may look, when the wind comes, it will be swept away. But a house built on solid ground, even when the, all the good painting, yes, the wind will come and perhaps break some windows, but it will still stand. So with time, in the long run, if your personality is built on firm ground, if it's really inside there, if it's really there, you will just, you'll be, people will see it. If it's not, definitely, after some time, they'll figure you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Shivan, what do you have to say about this? For me, at the end of the day, um, personality looks, all those are meaningless. Just, just be a nice person. Just be kind. That is the definition of a nice being person. Being a nice though. person means being cultured. Be human. The problem is that nowadays we have human beings that do not have empathy. We have human beings that are not human. We have <laughs> human beings that are dressed in sheep's clothing. Be human. Be kind. Greet. You know? Take, be, feel, be empathetic. You know? Don't go out hurting people and taking advantage of people. It, by the way, it's just the small things that could make your personality and someone tick the personality box and be like, this one has an amazing personality. Mm. You walked into the office, you found someone at the gate, you can't even greet them. Someone is cleaning, you can't even ex say, excuse me, like, be courteous, you know? It's the little things that matter at the end of the day. Your looks will only take you as far, but your personality will take you to amazing and great places. Mm. Okay, um, before we get into the other question that I have for you, um, I would like to give, highlight some of the few ways uh, that personality is better than, uh, rather, that personality is better than looks. Now, the first one, uh, personality makes someone unique. People can look alike. We have 
we can take an example of twins. They can buy exact same clothes and have the same style of hair. They can use the same words and walk the same way. If twins are seemingly mirror images of each other, how can we tell them apart? We look at their personalities. And the next one, personality hel helps in your career. While physically attractive people make better first impressions, it isn't enough to get a promotion. If you do not have the abilities for the job, employers are hiring managers. When they're hiring managers, they look for people that can fit well with the company. And looks aren't usually the most important factor in deciding that. Unless, of course, it's a modeling job. You know, there are certain jobs like modeling, I don't know, like you said about mm. the billboard and uh, advertisement. It's usually the face that comes before the personality because no one will look at a billboard and say this person has a good personality <laughs> well the third one is personality lasts longer when someone passes away people don't make um eulogies entirely about their fashion sense they talk about who they were much as they lie as well how they spoke to people, how they treated their waiter, how they impacted the people that they came across. Eventually, people's hair turns white and their faces gain more wrinkles, like Brian had said earlier. And then the next one, personality makeovers are more significant than fashion makeovers. Changing one's personality is more impactful than someone getting a makeover. If they are still the same person, but with nicer hair, the novelty of the makeover seems to diminish much faster. If someone you know is consistently known for having a temper, but then they decide to become calmer, and more forgiving, their change in behavior will strike, strike you more than them changing their hair color or buying better fitting pants. But before we wrap up the conversation, uh, one last thing that I would like to know from you. Don't you think that, uh, do you or don't you think that environment shapes personality? It doesn't shape beauty, but it, don't you think it shapes personality? But even environment shapes beauty. Because now, mm. nowadays beauty is curtailed by what we see on TV, what, what the media presents, what ad agencies and companies present, what is seen as beautiful, the truth of the matter is brown is beautiful. According to different people, they will tell you brown is beautiful, tall is beautiful. You know, we all have, the truth of the matter is that society shapes beauty in different cultures, having pierced noses, having, you know, elongated lips is beauty. So actually culture and society do shape beauty. But also when it comes to personality, yes, the kind of society that you're in definitely does shape your personality. The kind of people that you hang around with will definitely shape your personality. The friends that you keep, the organization that you have will definitely shape your personality because along your way, along your life journey, you pick traits from different people. Slowly but surely you pick off straight, you might not realize it, but you might find yourself acting in a certain way because you saw someone else acting that way. So we feed off each other in one way or the other. Okay. That is true. Environment, in, in behavior psychology, environment shapes beauty, it shapes appearances as well, rather personality as well. If you go to the 1600 Europe, there's a picture you saw, I can't remember the lady's name, but she was a princess and men would kill themselves for, for when, they, when they would make approaches and they get rejected. We and she rejected here. many of those. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> but continue. She rejected many men. But this chick, I would not like to describe her, but she's not the typical standard of beauty mm -hmm. of today's standard. Mm -hmm. In Europe, the skinny, perhaps, Kavi lady is the beautiful woman, but her, she was the complete opposite. And by then, the standard of beauty was that. If you go to some African societies, a uh, thick woman is the standard of beauty. Absolutely. You get. Shiva, please, <laughs> I'm, just, no, I'm saying that is what is bringing out in the aspect that society does shape yeah, beauty. Yeah, it shapes. Yeah. That appealed to you more than any other thing. No. So, so let's move beauty on. and personality is a social construct. If you come to to Buganda, mm. a lady has to kneel down while greeting a man, and that is part of her personality as a woman. If you go to some societies like maybe where I come from, it is a wrong thing to kneel down. It, you do it when you've done a crime. <laughs> yeah, that is a wrong thing. And if you do it when you're not, when you've, done, when you've not done anything wrong, mm. you're taken as not confident. In the West, Western culture, to be respectful of someone, you have to look them in the eye. We're talking to them in 
around in, in Africa, most especially Uganda, you cannot look at your parent in the oh eye when they're talking to you. It's disrespectful. So, so personality and beauty are social constructs that are shaped by culture, society, the society we grow up in. But still, there's some level of standard personality that you have to have. Of course, there is no society where you go and you, they accept abusing people or barking at people, yelling at them, all that. Yes. No, 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 no. There's a level, some basics we, we have to have. Yes. Like she said, find someone, be courteous enough to say hi. Whether, whether it is a janitor or your boss, be courteous enough to greet them, to know, ask how they're doing, give them a smile, all that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we posted this uh, question on our social media and we did get a few reactions. Now, Yada Wanjiku says, for me, it's the mind first. Smart and intelligent guys are more attractive. Personality comes in next. I could literally ignore the looks if you have a great personality, but still don't look too bad. <laughs> Those are double standards. It needs to also say, uh, I need to also say my partner's a full package. And I totally agree. It's okay to actually, you can have it both. You can have the, uh, the looks and the personality as well. And Essential Worker says to me, personality matters first. Having good looks can only get you so far in life. Sure, it might catch other people's attention and make a better first impression than others. But that tends to fed over time. And that is what we had for you. Shivan, do you have any last remarks on... on <laughs> In regard to personality and beauty. We are, we are not moving around with extras to see if you have a good personality. Try to look good also. <laughs> okay, Brian, give us your last remarks on this, uh, uh, on this topic. Yeah, beauty is good. It's good to look good, but you have to have a good personality as well. It's unsustainable to be... What actually, you, you talked about the fashion industry, whether, where you have to look good to make it. My God, I can assure you, if you don't have a good personality and there are fashion industry is as good is similar to the media industry if you don't have a good personality if you do, you're not kind enough to respect your producer or your director or your fashion designer that dresses you Oh. They will not call you for the gig again. <laughs> okay, well, for me, the, the only thing that I would say is choose what you want for yourself. If you think that beauty is sustainable, well, go with that. If you think personality is what's sustainable for you, then go with that. Well, that is what we had for you on this segment of Our Views. Do not go anywhere. Sunrise at Sea continues. Good morning once again, and just like they say, every good thing must come to an end. It's been a beautiful Wednesday. We had an amazing show. Thank you for tuning in to Sunrise at Sea and for tuning in to CTV as well. Well, we are signing out. It's been an amazing show. I hope that you have a fantastic day. But from the team and I, we wish you a lovely day.